This is Ibrahim. He is 15 years old and was born in Mali. He moved to the Ivory Coast with his father when he was little and has been forced to work on cocoa farms ever since. He hasn't gotten a chance to go to school and his working conditions are severely poor. The story of Ibrahim represents a serious problem in the chocolate industry. Millions of companies manufacture chocolate all over the world and so many of them support slavery of some kind by trading with companies who engage in the act of slavery on their cocoa bean farmers. A large number of the slave labor are children between the age of 12 to 16, but children as young as five years old have also been found working. Their workday can last up to 20 hours with very low or no pay at all. This came as a huge surprise to us, and we saw an opportunity for us to get into the market and make a change. We will do this by only conducting in fair trade business and be an inspiration for other companies to do the same. In other words, we are going to change the world with chocolate. Our company, Selva Chocolates, produces and sells delicious organic bean-to-bar chocolate made with cocoa beans from Tanzania. The beans that we use are known to be one of the best in the world due to their exquisite taste and processing. Every single ingredient used in our chocolate is 100% organic, which makes Solva Chocolates the first organic chocolate company in Iceland. In addition to that, our packaging is sustainable since it's entirely recyclable, and we believe that these factors raise the quality standard of our product even higher. However, having a high-quality product itself is not enough to achieve great success and gain market share. Product's design is one of the most important factors which determines its success. With more and more competitors entering the market, that is something that is important to have in mind. Our graphic designer has created colorful packaging that draws a lot of attention and stands out. If you take a close look, you can see that it looks like you're watching the Icelandic landscape from above. We believe that our beautiful packaging has played a big role in our product success and will continue to do so in the future. Our chocolate is the perfect gift for special occasions and can be substituted for a typical gift such as wine or a flower bouquet. Making chocolate from scratch is a lot of work and requires patience. In the beginning of the process, we studied the work of many cocoa bean suppliers, but at last, we contacted the farmers association, Kako Kamili, in a small village in Tanzania called Mabinku, and got to the conclusion that we wanted to do business with them. By trading with Kako Kamili, we support a good cause, whereas a part of their profit is used to build up schools, hospitals, and orphanages in Tanzania. In addition to that, Kako Kamili pay their farmers 24% higher salary than is considered regular to improve their quality of life. This is something that is very important to us, and we want to emphasize on the importance of engaging in fair trade business. In the US, the bean-to-bar market is worth $100 million and will grow rapidly in the next years. But it is certain that the organic chocolate market is only a small share of the total market, or 0.5%. The fair trade chocolate market is an even smaller share of the total, or 0.1%. In spite of this, the demand for organic and or fair trade chocolate is so much higher than the supply can reach. The demand nowadays is due to customers' increased awareness regarding environment-friendly products and humane factors in this industry. When presenting our product, our main goal is to tell a story. We want to tell the story behind the farmers, the packaging, and our team, and thereby create a more personal relationship with our customers. With the many corporations that exist today, consumers are gradually getting less information about their product from the supplier. Customers are seeking transparency in the market, and that is exactly what we will offer them. In this year, the amount of chocolate bars that Selva Chocolates will sell is 6,000 bars. In next year, we will sell 64,500, and in the year 2018, Selva Chocolates will sell 140,000 bars. At first, we are focusing on the Icelandic market, but we will be spread worldwide in no time. At the moment, we are negotiating with a company that exports Icelandic products all the way to China. So, in the end of this year, 
our chocolate will be available in a few stores in Guangzhou in South China. In next year, our aim is to be also selling our chocolate in the US. Our team consists of five individuals recently graduated from the Commercial College of Iceland. The idea of making high-quality chocolate came up in an entrepreneur class in January. We fell in love with the idea, and we were determined that this is what we wanted to dedicate the next years of our life to. It was right then and there that we decided that we were going to make the best chocolate in the world. Since January, so much has happened. In April, we produced our first batch and sold everything out in only four days. We won the Junior Achievement Competition Company of the Year 2016 and got into the Startup, startup Reykjavik Business Accelerator. <laughs> now we are running a crowdfunding campaign on Karolina Fund, where our goal is to raise one million Icelandic kroner to help us fund necessary equipment and get our production started again this fall. Everyone who is interested can fund our project and support our journey and our mission to change the world with chocolate. When I was 15 years old, I wasn't forced to work. I got to go to school and enjoy my life. And today, I have the opportunity to make a change. If you want to know more, please come talk to us and taste our delicious chocolate. Thank you. <laughs>